Hello guys, I have the Acer Zenfone 2 here, uh, which is the ZD551ML model, uh, which has the 4GB uh, of RAM, 64GB internal and 2.3GHz quad-core Intel Atom processor. So if you're an Asus Zenfone 2 user, by now you must have known there are some issues with the color correction of the screen. The screen is a bit yellowish, not actually white. I also talked about this on my other video which is 21 things to do after buying an Asus Zenfone 2 which you can uh, see right now by clicking uh, somewhere here or there. So in that video I just uh, told you that I was comparing the screen uh, resolution and the brightness of the Asus Zenfone 2 with the MI4 of my friend and the Asus Zenfone 2 failed really badly. But uh, here what I figured out uh, a later afterwards was that there are some color correction settings in our device uh, which can actually uh, make it to reach a little bit closer to the MI4 but actually uh, it's uh, really sorry to say but Asus Zenfone 2 is uh, not comparable to the screen uh, and brightness and the colors of the MI4. The screen is very vivid on the MI4. Even the viv vividest setting on the Asus Zenfone 2 are not even comparable to the MI4. So let's get the most out of the Asus Zenfone 2 and let's see how we can get to the best settings, best screen color settings on the Asus Zenfone 2. So out of the box, let's unlock the device and let's get to the setting. So after getting to the settings, we can get to the display here and let's scroll to the bottom and select the screen color mode. This is actually the color settings of the Asus Zenfone 2 which actually I haven't seen uh, anywhere on any device sooner or later but I think that's, uh, it's very nice they have also provided us. So here are the three modes uh, of the color correction like here is the balance mode which, which is the default mode when we get the device and then is, there is the reading mode and the reading, reading mode uh, which I feel is uh, really nice when we are uh, reading novels or online articles we can actually turn the screen a little bit yellowish uh, it actually doesn't even strain our eyes while reading and then there is the vivid mode so into the vivid mode uh, these are the basic settings we get so when we uh, decrease the temperature that means add a bluish tint to the screen we are actually getting closer to a uh, MI4 kind of display but uh, that's not it as you can see now the screen is a bit whiter and when I switch from the quick settings to the customized settings you can feel the difference the reading was a bit very much yellowish so let's get that okay okay so here you are the reading mode is a bit too much yellowish and then we have the vivid mode which is really crisp vivid and the colors are awesome so that's it guys the best settings are on the vivid mode while keeping the color temperature to the lowest and that is to the bluish tint and that's it for today using the asus zenfone 2 on the vivid mode works for me and is great for everybody else but when you're reading the reading modes work awesome and uh, this this is actually the best part uh, I can always tell my friends when they say the screen resolution is not great the skin colors are not great so I just tell them do you even have a reading mode and uh, boom there I have it I have a defending line for that so but that doesn't even matter so we, uh, no, for normal use I use vivid mode on the blue agent and for reading for reading something online or for uh, for times when I don't want to stress my, my eyes a little bit, I get to the reading mode and just put the setting on the yellowish mode possible. So that was it guys, using the color settings on the Asus Zenfone 2. Thank you for watching. If you learned something today, you can share, like, subscribe our channel and also if you have any queries or any requests of more further tutorials, you can click on the, uh, you can add a comment below our video. Thanks for watching.